everyone, Lisa Haven here. Well, if you thought you heard it all already, you haven't heard today's report. Well, NASA has decided that during the eclipse on Monday, August 21st, that they're going to be releasing balloons, dozens and dozens of these balloons, filled with not only cameras and technology to study Mars, but also bacteria, yeah, that's going to be released overhead. No joke. Don't take my word for it. Let me take you to the report. It's on www. The first one I want to show you is on theverge.com and it's titled NASA to launch bacteria into the sky on balloons during Monday's eclipse. Now this report goes on to reference the actual report from uh, the second site here I'm going to show you astrobiology.nasa.gov and this report is titled solar eclipse a chance to study life's resilience. Now the report goes on to detail that on August 21st that North America experiences its first total eclipse of the sun in 38 years. Astrobiologists are taking advantage of this moment to basically study the hostile conditions on Mars. And how are they going to do that? Well, over your head. Now it also goes on to say that they're going to release dozens of balloons outfitted with cameras that are launched into space across that path of totality uh, that obviously stretches from South Carolina to the coast of Oregon where the moon will appear completely eclipse the sun. The Eclipse Ballooning Project, a citizen science project using 55 teams, includes all different variants from college people to high school to middle school and beyond, will, be, will for the first time capture video images of the stuff of the total eclipse from near space. Now it goes on a little bit further in the report to say this little piece, and it says the balloons will not only carry cameras, but a lightweight aluminum strip called a coupon that are coated with a thin film containing sticky spores of the bacterium Panbacillus zero thermodians. And if I butcher that, I'm sorry, but it was originally recovered from the dirt outside NASA's Kennedy Space Center in the 1970s. Now, <laughs> they go on to say at the very end of that, no worries, no harm will be done to the environment. It's just a little bacteria in the sky. It doesn't have to mess with people. But either way, I guess that decision is up to you. Uh, and I thought, well, the people need to know about this either way. If they're going to release something up overhead and it's more than just a bunch of camera technology and it contains a little bit of bacteria well at least you have some insight on that so interesting i find it um fascinating that here we are about to have the eclipse of all eclipses that we haven't had in a very long time and of course nasa is going to take it upon themselves to study the environments of mars here on earth but uh whether or not uh what you think of that i don't know i'd love to hear your comments on it and just get your feedback below but either way i'm just giving you the 411 on what is going down anyhow wanted to bring you the latest on all of that please don't forget to go to tradegeniusacademy.com he is offering the courses at 50 percent off right now uh to teach you you know how to use cryptocurrency bitcoin uh trading stock markets all kinds of things and variant variant different kinds of classes but you can use the code make money all one word to get that discount. Anyhow, wanted to bring you the latest on all of that. Thanks again for tuning into my channel here. I love all you guys. Uh, this is Lisa Haven, signing out.